also on 7 this morning, investigators releasing new video of a man they say is behind a neighborhood nightmare. They say that he is the one behind armed burglaries, but could also be connected to another concerning crime. 7's Lorena Estrada is live in Cooper City with more now. Lorena? Well, Diane, I spoke to a few who have lived in the community for many years, and they tell me they were shocked and simply disturbed to hear that BSO is investigating an attempted sexual battery of a child, a seven-year-old, spoke to one man, a homeowner, who he says he believes the same, guy, the same guy may have tried breaking into his home. And the way he was pinned at the door, I knew something was going on out there. James Leffler says he woke up to a protective German Shepherd early Monday morning. What he didn't know at the time, this man seen on surveillance video was prowling the streets of his Cooper City neighborhood. The Broward Sheriff's Office releasing the video saying they believe the man in the video tried to break into several different homes minutes before an attempted sexual battery of a seven year old. They walked the whole development and they were looking for signs. I think the guy cut the screen and got in. This man has lived in the community for more than 30 years. He says he woke up to deputies going door to door. Uh, hopefully if they find something, they will let the community know so we know that the guy's been caught. The shocking incident happening in the community of Flamingo Lakes townhomes in Cooper City, where many families and children live. Leffler says when he received the BSO bulletin Monday night, that's when he realized his home was targeted, his dog likely scaring the guy away. Yeah, he might growl, but he'll wait for you to come in before he does anything. <laughs> So again, limited information, but BSO did release the video, hoping that someone may recognize the guy. If you recognize him, perhaps know where he may be, you're urged to call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. We're live in Cooper City, Lorena Estrada, today in Florida.